Tell me if you recognize this car behind me. This is a 1985 Toyota SR5 tribute to Back to the Future. Check out that 4x4. Four four. That is hot. We have the KC fog lights here, the KC daylighters on the rear roll bar in the bed. We have the correct wheels and tires, push bar rear bumper. This car is so, so nice. And it gets even better. Autographed on the dashboard. It is a factory five speed in a four wheel drive. Cloth seats with the jump seats in the rear. This car is going through the Barrett Jackson auto auction shortly. And I'm really, really interested in buying it. And you, as well as myself, are gonna find out what it sells for. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. Let's take a walk around this car really quickly because it is just like a perfect replica of an iconic truck that everybody in the 80s wanted. If you're a Back to the Future fan, this is a car you would have wanted yourself. Next to the DeLorean, this is the second best car in the entire movie. After that would be Flea and Anthony Kiedis' Bronco. Wait a minute, that's a different movie. What movie? Name it. What's the matter? Chicken? Okay, so this car, 1985 Toyota SR5. Before the Tacoma, this was the Tacoma. Toyota, four-wheel drive, electronic fuel injection. That looks like it was painted with whiteout. It is an extra cab. If you want to call that an extra cab, I mean, that is tiny. It has been repainted. The mileage is 214,915 miles. Who knows? To all the Gen Zs out there, tell me if you know what this is right here. Now, before power windows, which every car has power windows now, these are the crank windows. Manual locks right here. Yes, I know, most people know what that is, but you'd be surprised at how many people don't actually know what that is. Now you can see it has been repainted. The paint is like medium satisfactory. The bed is in great shape. I love the roll bar. I love the rear bumper. And obviously we gotta love the KC Daylighters. Tires and wheels are brand new on it. It is a factory five speed. The only thing it's missing, oh. You guys get that one? I don't know what that means. Check this out. Statler Toyota, Hill Valley, California, established 1885. It's all about the details. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna go in the auction and see what this car sells for. Here's the description in the catalog. The Back to the Future movie franchise, an autograph by the Back to the Future cast. Last year of the straight axle, the first year of the fuel injection, and the only crossover model. All right, here it comes. Is it like a $6,500 truck or is it like a $16,000 truck? I have no idea. It can be any price. Who knows? Oh, it just got better. My kid would go wild if he saw this. My son is a sneakerhead. He'd be crazy. I'm gonna take a picture. There you have it, $22,000. Comes with the hoverboard, comes with the sports almanac, comes with the air mags, I think they're called the sneakers, the self-lacing sneakers. Add a buyer's fee of another 10%, $2,200. So you're at 24 two. There's another thing that I should mention that comes along with that Toyota pickup. It came with the hoverboard and also the Nike air mags. So those Nike air mags, I think are worth quite a bit of money if they're originals. I have no idea about them. My son, total sneaker head, I'm gonna ask him about them because we have to add that into the value of the pickup truck. Logan, you're what you call a sneaker head, right? Mm -hmm. You just picked up these free pebble dunks at the Nike store, right? Yeah. All right, so Logan picked up these things and he was all pumped. He had to try them on, on a piece of cardboard. He couldn't flex them because they don't want to crease them in the store. And he's excited because you got them for what? Retail. You got them for retail. Which is essentially like as exciting to him as if I was to buy a Corvette at MSRP. Those Nike Air Mag were the shoes from Back to the Future. Can you tell me about those shoes and what they're worth? Well, there's different, they made one in like, it would be like 2005-ish, that auto lace, and those were like 150 grand. Like they automatically lace, like the movie? Yeah, like they're like the outdoor ones that like look like the jacket from the movie. Yeah. And they also light up, and then they, they released one in 2015 that doesn't auto lace. So that one's worth like 50 grand. 50 grand? Yeah. All right, and are they knockoffs too? Like are there knockoffs? Well, no, no, there's obviously fake ones. Obviously yeah. Fake ones. But they're like made by Nike. 
fake ones? If I would get a fake pair of dunks, I would get them for 20 bucks. So okay, I so I could them. find a pair of fake Air Mags for not a lot of money. Yeah. Alright, had I known that car came with Air Mags, I could probably, like, find out. Yeah. Are they easy to find out if they're real or not? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Alright, so that would have taken a... Quality-wise. Quality-wise? Yeah. That would have taken into consideration of the value, too. So if those were real Air Mags that came with it, probably not significantly increases the value of the truck. We didn't even know it came with it until they got up on stage, so there's no way we could have even verified. Also, the hoverboard, it came with a hoverboard as well. And I don't even know what a hoverboard is like. Oh, they, a lot of sneaker stores, they have the Air Max with the hoverboard behind it. Really? And it's like, the hoverboard's inside. So the guy had the hoverboard and the Nike Air Max in a package, and he had the sports on the back, too. So, there's a good chance those were real, then. If it came with the hoverboard and the Nike. Yeah, well, Sneakers. I, <laughs> I kind of regret it now. Tell me, you had a chance to win Nike Air Max and buy the Nike Possibly, but they could have been fakes. I don't even know. Now I feel like I should have Was it worth it? You guys tell me.